Now let's take a look at creating custom icons. This is really cool. So you control click right on the icon and it opens up the icon selector. And you've got your normal stuff here, right? Everything they're used to. But look, down at the bottom it says custom icons. This is where you can create your own. You hit plus, it brings you to the finder. Let me resize that a little bit. I'll just go right to the desktop because I know I have a picture of a Fender guitar because I'm gonna lay down a Fender track. Open it, boom, there it is, Fender icon. And it behaves like any other track icon, right? You just kinda resize it, do whatever you want, there it is. Imagine that you have a band coming in and each band member, you take a picture of them with your camera and you can have each band member's picture on their track. Hey, there's me, I guess I'll be playing a Buchla track. Very cool. So anyways, that is custom icons in Logic 10.2.